Hey guys, welcome to my channel Cancer Zappers. A lot of people ask me what I do and uh, exactly what my field entails, but honestly it's very difficult to describe what I do without giving the big picture. So to start off, I'll give you a few statistics. According to the National Cancer Institute, um, over 1.5 million new cases of cancer will be diagnosed in 2016 in the United States. So cancer matters, but more so than cancer mattering is the fact that there are a lot of solutions and techniques out there to combat this terrible disease. And it's important that uh, friends, family, and even patients themselves are aware of the physical principles behind these awesome techniques and solutions. Um, so I hope you find this channel educational and that you would want to share this with friends and loved ones and that you would eventually subscribe. All right, thanks. So the Linear Accelerator, also known as the LINAC, is one of the really cool, sophisticated equipment that we work with. So consider x-rays coming from the opening of the LINAC. These beams come out already shaped because of metallic leaves known as multi-leaf collimators, or MLCs. These leaves can move individually in and out of the beam so that altogether the MLCs can shape a beam to conform to many kinds of shapes of tumor that are being treated. The beam comes out, penetrates the patient, and then goes around the patient to give out more shaped beams which all end up intersecting where the tumor is. This way, most of the beam is focused around the tumor, sparing the nearby normal tissue. The insides of a LINAC are definitely more complicated, but thought I should mention, there's an electron gun inside. The electron gun is responsible for boiling off electrons from a tungsten filament in the cathode. The electrons fall off through thermionic emission, or in other words, the electrons boil off with all the heat produced. With the help of microwaves and power, the electrons that are generated in the electron gun are accelerated through an accelerator waveguide. After being accelerated, the path of these electrons are then bent through a bending magnet before hitting what is known as the target. As soon as these electrons strike the target that can be made up of metal like tungsten or copper, the energy is converted to x-rays via a process known as bremsstrahlung. And there you have it, the big picture at least, of a very important cancer zapper, the Linac. Around the beginning of August, I set off to Denver, Colorado. Here, a lot of medical physicists came together for one of our main meetings of the American Association of Physicists in Medicine. We met to bring together our best ideas to further our goals, including and not limited to promoting the highest quality medical physics services for patients and encouraging research and development to advance the discipline. We met at the Colorado Convention Center with the Big Blue Bear. You almost missed it because it was so big. Which reminded me, it's important to pay attention to details, but to never forget the big picture. For fun, we got to visit the Denver Museum. It was great to meet up with old friends from our good old days in graduate school. I made it back safely and couldn't stop thinking about the great talks and ideas to improve standards of practice in my field and to disseminate scientific and technical information in the discipline. Hence this vlog. Last but not least, I made it in time for the solar eclipse. How was yours? Mine was pretty cool, literally speaking, and dark. Hi, I'm recording from here and it's getting very, very dark. It's really dark now. Hey, here in the total eclipse. Very dark. <laughs>